All right, this lesson is SSS triangle congruence, and SSS is sort of a shortcut for side, 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 side. And what it what it means is that if you can identify that the three sides of any two triangles are equal, so we'll say this side over here is three hashes, and this side is two, and this side is two, and this side is one, and this side is one then the triangles themselves have to be completely congruent. And that means that you don't necessarily need to show that all three angles of two triangles are congruent if you can show that all three sides are. And this uh, is sort of a makes a little bit of logical sense if you think it through because a triangle only has three sides. So if you're taking, if you were to take uh, three specific lines, three lines of any specific length, let's make a new page here and we'll kind of draw in a little bit. If I were to make three lines of any specific length and try and build a triangle out of them, you know what I could do? Let's do this so that I can actually deal with them separately. One, two, there we go. Any three lengths, we don't really care. And I were to build a triangle out of those three sides, I can only build one specific triangle out of those three sides. There's only one way to get those three things to match that actually makes a triangle. No matter how I play around with it, I can't build anything other than that one triangle because if I try and put it together any other way, the three sides won't actually connect at the ends. There's only one, I guess, uh, group of angles, if you like, that actually lets the ends of those triangle, of those uh, lines combine. So that's why you only need to prove, whoops, did that the wrong way. That's why you only need to prove that the triangles have the three sides that are equal. You don't necessarily have to prove that the three angles are. And we're going to use that, of course, the reason we're bringing that up is we're going to use that in the example questions in this chapter where we're talking about the different ways you can prove the two triangles are congruent. So as long as you can prove that the angles are, that the sides are congruent, you can prove that the triangles themselves are. And boy, you can see that it's really not even easy as I'm just sort of manipulating things here to put these things together in any specific way that works because there's only one set of angles that actually works. You can actually try this on uh, on a table with, say, three, three different length pencils. And you'll see if you have three different lengths of pencils and try and build more than one triangle, it's not going to work. There's only one triangle you can build with those three pencils that actually makes all three ends connect. Anything else won't work. So let's use this information and go through the example questions.